Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a vehicle that has a red uh, brake light or uh, you have a warning that says brake pad wear. Stay with us, we'll explain guys what causes that and how to fix it. That will work on multiple cars guys, German, Asian, American, Italian, French cars guys, multiple cars will be covered. So uh, before we start, let me tell you something guys. If you need to buy any parts or tools, check out the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the shop, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So, what we have specifically here, this is guys, a Porsche vehicle. But doesn't matter what it is, most modern vehicles nowadays guys, okay, they come with a special sensor on your brake pads. Now at that point you may have uh, one brake pad wear sensor on the front tires, one for both tires, or you may have, oh, and one for the rear tires, or you may have actually four sensors, one on each wheel. Uh, usually guys, okay, I noticed that German vehicles most of the times, okay, will have actually four sensors or two sensors. Uh, and uh, this sensor, okay, is right here. That detects if your uh, brake pads are worn out. Now, what happens at that point, guys, okay, you can see that's a brake pad. And if it gets worn out to where that sensor actually touches the brake rotor, it's going to activate a message and it will say that you have brake pad wear or you will have a message that actually says brake problems, brake uh, brake light, brake warning. Uh, and how you fix that? You need to put new brake pads. Okay, brake pads will need to be replaced and the sensor in most cases need to be replaced as well. If you don't replace that sensor, the old sensor, most likely it's activated and it will not work anymore. They're not very expensive at all and I'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get yours from. Uh, usually they're probably, uh, I don't know, but not very expensive at all. We replaced all four of ours when we put new brake pads. But many of you ask me about that uh, brake wear uh, message and what it means. So. Uh, with that being said, all we have to do, remove it when you put new parts, get to the connector, disconnect it, install the new one, and uh, that should take care of the problem. Now, something else, if you still have brake part wear after that, you may need to actually do a reset procedure. For instance, we have uh, one on BMW that explains how to do it, so I will put the link in the description of the video below. And once you do the reset procedure, okay, you should be... Uh, you should get rid of that light. Some people bypass that sensor. I will not recommend it because you will not know, okay, if uh, your brake pads are getting worn, if they're getting low, and that could be dangerous and you can lose your brakes. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.